Elliott Coldwell leads things off. First pitch swinging, reaches out, slaps it into right field. Another hit for Caldwell, who just keeps on rolling along. He's already done something he normally doesn't do, which is take two pitches. Smashes this one down the line and right again. If it's fair, it's trouble, and it is. It rattles off the wall, and it is a home run. He just snuck it over. Line two. Line drive, Mooney catches it, and it's an easy double play. And he does it. Good job by Marcus Carson. Here comes the 10th pitch of the inning. Wynkoop hasn't thrown a ball yet, and he doesn't. 10 pitches, 10 strikes, two strikeouts, three up, three down. First inning, fourth, and here in the sixth. As Storm Wilson drops the bunt, and Lineku throws to second, and he gets him. Boy. Extending some counts. There's strike three called. The change up on the outside corner gets Carson looking. Fifth K for Jack Lineku. <laughs> Moving over to play it is Caldwell. He'll make the catch, come up throwing to third, but it is cut off, and it's an effective sacrifice fly for Storm Wilson, who squared that one up pretty good. Burnell comes through. Breaking ball, stays in there. Big hit for the 50-year man from Kentucky, and the Wildcats pull within one. It's a hard to center, but Gene Cohn should have it. And that'll do it. Some rough waters for Taylor Widener in his closer debut in SEC play, but he holds on, and the Gamecocks finish off the 4-3 win over Kentucky, a one-run contest. I think we'll see a lot of those in SEC play this year. Gamecock pitching certainly good enough to keep them in any game. The difference today offensively, a couple of blasts.